What's up, sons? It's Blind Drive with Sava Tech once again, and welcome to yet another how to video. Today, we're going to be talking about Rave OS, how to get it installed, how to add your mining rigs to, of course, the web interface, and then how to start mining with it. Why are we talking about this? Well, if you use two miners, it's pretty much free, so that's a big deal. And a lot of y'all might be using two miners, whether it's for Ravencoin, which is one of the top pools for that, hence the name Rave OS or even Ethereum. They do have an Ethereum pool. They have lots of different options. Using the OS makes sense if you're mining to two miners, so you may as well check it out. But before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for Rocket Chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers, or bots. Welcome back. So here you go. It's pretty easy to get started with this. Hopping right into it, we have the main website up. And as you can see, you get all this cool stuff free on two miners. Use Rave OS completely free. You can use Rave OS for free on all our partners, two miners pools. All workers mining on two miners.com pools will not be charged. Mmm, that's a of a deal right there. Okay, so how do you get started with it? Well, first of all, you're going to go ahead and click the little install button at the top. And then we are focused on GPU rigs. If you scroll down, you will have the option for the image right here. So we're just going to go ahead and, and click a download. And then we are going to save it. At this point, we just need to wait for the download. And then we are going to go ahead and while we wait, we are going to create our account. So we're just going to go to accounts dot. We're going to click the register button. We are going to type in a username and an email. Type in a password. I would recommend using a random password generator. You can also use random.org if you prefer. Our password is too simple. Let's try something else. Alrighty, so there we go. I do like that they have basically an option that tells you that it's too simple, which is pretty cool. So once you register, the message will be sent to the specified email address. So we're just going to go ahead and go into mail. We are going to go ahead and take a look and get our registration complete by clicking the link. Validation was successful. And at this point we can log in. Okay, so once you're logged in, this is the basic setup for, of course, managing your rigs. You have your dashboard, you have your wallets, which is where we'll set up our miners. You have your overclock profiles. Unfortunately, right now, overclock profiles do not have options for RTX 3000 series or RX 6000 series. So that is a downside right now, but you can still manually overclock them. That being said on the RX 6000 series, the overclocks were not applying to the GPUs, but the GPUs do mine. Now on the RTX 3000 series so far from what I've tested, they will overclock. However, you don't have an overclock profile for them. You'll have a list of your workers. We'll need to add a worker in a bit. And then there's a couple other options. I think there's some finance there is a referral option here as well we'll have our referral link down in the description below this is not a sponsored video but the referrals and using that definitely helps out the channel if you decide to go with rave os so the next thing we need to do is grab etcher and here is the etcher if you are interested in it you can go ahead and download it it'll be at balena or balena.io slash etcher and that will be also in the description below at this point we do have this download so we're just going to say show in folder we're going to right click and say 7-zip and extract here this should give us an image file perfect and then at this point we are going to run etcher we're going to select flash from file 
we're going to select the image and then we're going to select the target. Now I recommend just using a flash drive and then booting to the USB. We have talked about this previously in both Simple Mining and Hive OS. So you can pick up a flash drive. I will leave links to flash drives on Amazon down below if you're looking for some. 16 gigs seems to be fine. You can pick them up pretty cheap. Sometimes at Best Buy you can even get them super duper cheap or even Amazon when they go on sale. I usually buy packs of them so I just have them laying around. This particular one is a USB 2.0 because I am running low so we got to go buy some more USB 3.0 drives. So this may take a little bit. We're going to say select and then it's as simple as just saying flash. You may get a prompt to allow the device or command prompt to go ahead and start flashing that drive and you just say yes and you will be on your way to flashing your image for rave os once it is completed flashing it will go through a validation process make sure you just let that complete Okay, so when it completes, it does do this little deal, and this happens with pretty much every image drive, and it'll ask you to format it. You just want to say cancel. You definitely don't want to format anything. You can go ahead, and as long as it was successful and flash was complete, you can close out of Etcher. And at this point, you just want to unplug the USB drive and replug it into your system. It will give you that format option again. So we're just going to do that real quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click cancel out because we don't want to format it. And then it did open the mining OS F drive, which is what we're interested in. We want to open this config and then you're going to see a file for token. If you do not have DHCP and you have manual settings or if you want to manually set your IP for each particular rig, if you're in a certain IP range, you can open the network.txt to modify that. So where do we get our token? Well, we're going to go back to our dashboard and we will need to log in again. It appears. No, we don't. All right, cool. So we're going to close that and that. And at this point we need to create a worker, right? So we're going to go ahead and go to the workers tab and click add worker. We're just going to name it. So test. And then we'll just say for video, you set a password. I just usually do X. Um, it's kind of weird that it forces you to do a password. It's just something I've noticed. This particular rig is our test bench, so we're going to put two cards on there and then we're going to click save. I have not had to enter a password for the rig, just to be clear. Then next we're going to go ahead and need to get that token. The token will be located in the system info tab and it should have a whole bunch of asterisks around it. You're gonna go ahead and click copy to clipboard. And then we are gonna go ahead and open the token.txt file. And we're just gonna do a control V or you can obviously do a right click and paste. We're gonna go ahead and click file and save. And then the USB drive is at this point prepped, provided it actually saves to the token. You can always reopen it and make sure that it's saved and this looks like it's good to go. So we're going to unplug the USB drive and plug it into our miner. For this test, we're just gonna be doing it on the test bench that we are also doing the video on, just to be clear. Now, before we get into it, we also wanna go ahead and adjust or add a wallet. So if you go up to wallets, you can click add wallet. We're gonna call this Raven because we are gonna be basically mining Raven coin. We're going to click add. At this point we can select the coin. So it's going to be RVN for Raven coin. And then we are going to select the pool, which is going to be two miners. Now for two miners, if you are on nice hash, I believe it's 16, 16, one. And then I believe it is 16, zero, six, zero. If you are doing the non nice hash version and we want to be in the U S cause we'll have a better ping to that. Just depending on your geographical location, select the correct one. And then we need to do a wallet address. So we're just going to look for a Ravencoin donation address or something to throw in there right now. 
Let's find one. Boom. Easy peasy. And then you will get your wallet address either from the Ravencoin Core wallet. You can also use Binance.com, not Binance.us at this time. And then your other option, if you need a non-geographically restricted exchange, would be Trade Ogre. However, I would be very cautious with Trade Ogre, just to be clear. Next, we're going to select our miner. Since we are doing AMD, we are going to use Team Red Miner and just the latest one. You can use, of course, T-Rex for your NVIDIA miner. And then we are going to click Save. So at this point, we have a wallet set up, which is basically like a flight sheet for Rave OS. So if you're familiar with Hive OS, this is essentially your flight sheet. We can then go back down to workers. We can highlight the, the worker once it's online and then click mining. So let's get the worker online. We're going to reboot this system and then we are going to go through the rest of the process with you. Okay, so I'm going to reboot this system and we're just going to boot into the USB drive, like I said, because this is our test machine. So I'm just going to do a start and a restart. And then we're going to get ready to tap F11 here. Okay, I'm going to boot to that USB drive that we have Rave OS on. We're going to select Rave OS and it's going to go through the boot process. Now, initial boot will take a little bit of time. You can always plug a monitor in like we have plugged in here. Alternatively, you can just keep refreshing the web GUI until it shows up and online. But on initial boot, it will be resizing the file system. So you just are going to have to expect a little bit of time to wait. Once again, I need to just make it clear with everybody that patience is kind of the game in a lot of these how to's and the how to may appear that it's going a little bit faster because we do edit a lot of the wait time out but just go grab a drink grab a grab a you know something to eat and hang out and wait for it to come online you can see here that after it's done that it starts unpacking additional libraries just keep that in mind you'll need to wait and make sure that it completes if you do have a monitor plugged in this is the screen you will see and that is what you want to be seeing over on your dashboard you should go ahead and see the worker online at that point and then you can check this little box and click the mining button this point you will select your wallet it will have the coin pre-prepped for that wallet and then you can select the miner we set all that up in the wallets tab previously so if you don't see any of these options make sure you rewind the video and redo that portion and then we're going to click apply all at this point it will begin to apply and then to check what we can do is if you do have a monitor plugged into your miner you can go back to that and type in miner and then maybe give it a little bit of time for the miner to get going obviously <laughs> all right so after we typed in miner on that screen we can see the miner is running and we are getting somewhere around 30 mega hash a piece on the 6800 and the 6900 XT. And then if we pop back over to our dashboard, you can see that we have the miner up and running here. If we would like to make changes, you can click the dashboard button and click the miner. And then from there, you can go into the tuning option where you can set your overclocks. So here is where you can change your core clock, memory clock, core voltage, memory voltage, and power limit if you are on NVIDIA. And then of course your fan speeds and the target temperatures, and then you would just click the set button. So there you go. There's setting up Rave OS for the first time. I do recommend using, of course, a two-factor authentication option. I personally use YubiKeys, which are hardware authenticators there are options like authy which we have gone over in previous videos real quick i will show you because we did almost forget i will go ahead and show you guys where that option is you want to go up to your user profile and click that for your settings and then you will go to the security tab and click on the two-factor authentication you will then open your authentication app, so Authy in this particular case. 
right here and then you can click the add button and then copy your secret key down etc and you will be good to go so there's your two-factor authentication option make sure you use it depending on you know obviously how worried you are about security i always recommend using that if you have any more questions about rave os please let me know in the comment section below it appears to be a great option because of its partnership with two miners you can load down a ton of rigs and i think this will be the option if ravencoin becomes more profitable than ethereum and you want to save some money then check it out thanks for watching be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos and i'll see you next tuesday if you enjoyed this content you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here or of course go ahead and subscribe for more in the future adios